Hello? I'm checking that I'm live. So if anyone join that I can see your comments, that would be really great. So we see if I can get these to work. Yes, I'm live and you're so welcome to this live with me. I have a, a plate for you today that I will um, paint. So people who join or uh, rewatch, I have a plate for you. Uh, I have prepared it. It's a white plate, it's a metallic plate from IKEA. And I have add some uh, paper scraps on the top, old book pages. And on the edges, I have uh, used uh, molds from Redesign. And uh, I have used this mold. Uh, it's gorgeous with all the borders so it's so easy to use uh, it's the roses I don't know if anything is wrong because uh, I have no one watching but I hope it will work okay hello Anya and now I know it's working that's great I didn't know that before and I guess there are other streams now at the, this time so it can be but I have this great um, borders and it's a, uh, it's a mold elegant borders so it's very useful you're so welcome Anya and I also have used these fragrant roses mold uh, I will show you because we will glue them so you are so welcome people who are watching hello Elizabeth you are so welcome so people who is joining this is the molds I have used so and I will uh, paint this and I will do it like in the vintage style and like I said if you miss it it's a it's a metallic plate from Ikea and I have some paper scraps here and that was made a long time ago. Hello, Anya, Elizabeth, Katrina and Anna, you're so welcome. So I'm thinking I'm starting and I will uh, change um, the camera so you can see what I'm doing. So you get my table instead, if we work. Okay, we will see if I can change the camera. Suddenly, problems can happen. But I'm thinking we make it here. Okay. So, people. Oh, that's nice, Anya. I have 20. So nice of you. Hello. That's great. Thank you for joining. I have now you see my plate here uh, and it's I made something for some years ago and here I will add the tissue paper and I start with the tissue paper and I store my tissue paper in this in this pouch isn't it amazing I must show you how I store my tissue paper so I have a bunch of them and this is a really big size of the pouch uh, and it's so nice quality because it's glossy and double-sided with a good uh, zipper. Yes, it's incredible. I love it. And I right now I keep my tissue papers in the pouch. So we will choose a tissue paper. So this is a bigger pouch and it also comes in pink colors. I must show you. Of course I must show you look the big pouch also comes in this color sets mm, aren't these amazing designed by Anna Finaber they are just amazing and 
I have a decide what I will store. <laughs> it's inside this because I think I will have like brushes when I go to craft the uh, go crafting. Hello, Andrew. Uh, and now, right now, we are in quarantine. Okay. Now you see these pouches. You can also have like a, if you have a small laptop or an iPad, it works also. So it's a good thing. Okay, people joining. Yes, hello Vasilis. So nice of people joining. Now I have like these gorgeous tissue papers. And I have set up news. And look, these fishes. Uh, gorgeous no not today and I have these with butterfly and birds no not today I'm thinking perhaps of that and this is older collection there are so many to choose from and I love them because they are vintage and who can resist the vintage and I have these we will check it out okay it's gorgeous but not today i'm thinking look at this paper and with these uh, like gears i think that will be perfect to my plate yes i start i will make it like a more quick version and like cut it out like that hello Blanche so nice of people joining and watching I cut it out so it make yeah I will do it really vintage today I hope so I haven't exactly decide how I will do it but on the plate it will be like that that will be a great background I believe yeah I like that and to set these I can uh, I will pull it off hello uh, 5 a.m. so it's really early Kayleen wow you are up really early and Monday morning hello so I'm picking a brush and I have and um, have a uh, paper water here so I will pull off so it will be the perfect size so it's easy to not get the scar uh, sharp edges okay Anna will have a live today what time Anna's live go let me know I know some days can be really busy but fun to watch all the great lives so it's great and this is by Finaber this paper and like I said I was prepared my uh, my plate before because it was a metallic plate in silver from Ikea and I have add some um, old magazine sheets in the background and I have paint the background white I'm 49 minutes so I will do quick so I finish my so I also can watch the line that's great thank you Vasilis and um, I, I turn it around perhaps I will not paint thank you Elizabeth so nice of you popping in so great um, so I will try to create and perhaps I will not paint all of the plate we'll see how it goes I'm still thinking what kind of combination of colors I will use hmm. because I'm like that I can't exactly do the plans how I want to do 
I'm improvising. I like that. That will be perfect. And this edge didn't want to leave. But now I have like not perfect. That's great. Like that. I don't want to have sharp edges. And I keep that. That's perfect to do some smaller project. Okay, I will have like a really big brush and set that aside and I will use the soft matte gel. Yes, Elizabeth, the rice paper and tissue paper. The tissue paper have it's like like more thin paper and the rice paper have like um, texture and like like pattern or or some fibers in it the fiber is the perfect word in Swedish Elizabeth is silkes papper på svenska and the rice paper has like fibers in it it's a little bit more uh, texture and more difficult this is more thin okay now it comes, we will have, want to have this in the middle. If anyone else want to add something, what's the difference between rice paper and, and uh, tissue paper? It's okay to add the, write something, but tissue paper is a more cold one. So I'm very, very careful because when I have the soft matte gel, it's so very easy to, to if you go too heavy with the brush, it will, um, you will destroy the surface. Yeah. Thank you, Anna. So it's more easy like that look it will work perfect now we have that in place and i was careful and very light-handed like that yes i love that already looking great <laughs> yeah more transparent, easy to layer on the top of another, no paper. Yes, Elizabeth, you all must do that. Okay, now I have something because I saw uh, some uh, plate, like a designer plate or something. So I will glue some of these molds on the edge like here to go like a pattern inside the plate because it can be fruit or lights or something but i want the pa uh, the pattern to go inside so it was the flowers roses so we will glue them and i have already painted them white i have some crisis here i have so difficult to find paper clay that could be delivered because I'm in home quarantine right now because family members are not healthy here at home so I haven't couldn't go outside shopping so I have like brown paper clay but it works fine Oh, welcome. So I have prepared them and painted them white. And perhaps with the white, I have painted them with the white heavy gesso. And I think I painted about um, two layers. And we will see. Now I will have the 3D and hello from Denmark welcome now I have the 3d matte gel I will paint this uh, and I start and I 
that's what's perfect with the gel with the heavy body gel or 3d gel even if I haven't decided now how to add them on my plate I can move them around that's not a problem so I'll had like a like a plan but yeah it's difficult uh, and Sweden we are having a little bit more restrictions but right now because family members are not healthy and the schools and the school where I have working it's uh, we have closed down and uh, that's the life but I'm happy to be here and uh, been safe here at home and happy that I have my passion for crafting what should we do I'm so lucky I feel lucky that I have the passion for crafting and have the possibility to share my craft with you that's amazing and I'm starting to like adding my pattern here on some way and adding them uh, you can have a stick you can have a finger or something if you use a brush that's better if you use a brush uh, be sure that you're cleaning the brush because it's very difficult to clean your brush if you don't clean it with from the medium so now I'm pulling a little bit but I want the pattern to go in on my plate on a bit and on my plate I'm thinking to have perhaps candles or fruit or yeah whatever I like I believe it could be some candles because it's very dark right now and I really enjoy lighting candles at the evening and the morning even for breakfast it's nice that's looking like something I'm enjoying now to have the pattern go all over and that's why you understand that even if I wasn't perfect here with the with the tissue paper it's okay like that uh, I'm layering on the top of each other these molds and it could be now they are like dry if they are like if you have made this decoration with um, if they were soft you can shape them a little bit Alison also let you know about the tissue paper that's good thank you Alison so I'm adding them on top of each other I think, think that makes like a great cluster and roses yeah something I'm not happy about the last one or if it should be like smaller one like that yeah that's going there and I will start painting while this is drying so ha happy that people are joining let me know from what country you are from I, I know I have from Ireland Greece Norway Sweden Australia I know that already so people where are you from let me know that bit's so fun that we can be together on this way I believe that's great my roses are in place and I will start to paint adding them more and while this is drying a bit because saving the time Mexico Blanche Oh, thank you so much for your sweet comment Kim from uh, California hello Angie okay that's nice 
and so nice to people to join and yeah we I'm happy with that I think that will be great and we will working with this around it later on I will start to paint a little bit I have already prepared my edges with the with the border uh, the elegant border with roses and I have also add some texture on on the top uh, there and I have used the graphite paste paste and I was really rubbing it in with a little bit of water to have like a like a thin texture here so and then add some white gesso now it's the painting and I think I want to have a plate in gold because I think that matches the paper so now I have the metallic paint gold rush it's a goldy paint and uh, yeah I will add it so I'm all ready and I will dry brush I will do it on a different way so I'm going on the top like that on my roses I'm starting from a different way so I want to add some gold like this to my plate carefully to not have too much of the gold I want a thin coat and I must say it already looks amazing you know dry brushing when you don't have too much color so I'm starting from a different way today okay rain Mitchell London UK uh, welcome products paints and molds available yes molds uh, you can check out Prima should have them and their molds are redesigned from Prima and I have used the elegant border here on the edges and now when I'm doing the dry brushing you can see how the pattern pops I will have the vintage later and the fragrant roses it's here yes and Anna says they are available and the metallic paint are also available and uh, there are like a different uh, shadow also a different gold but I use this that is more like clear gold so I very light-handed turning my plate around and already it's looking some something and I go also light-handed on the inside here on the edges and it's not dry because I try to speed it up so I don't need to dry right now everything so I'm going also on the inside I will have color on this on the top also so only to show you that you can create like vintage effect on different ways so to make like a quick perhaps a quick Christmas gift or you need something for your holiday table so this could be a solution if you have like a plate that you don't like uh, like this is a silver plate from Ikea that I bought many years ago but I had never liked it so why not give it a shape that you like hello Angelska nice to see you you're so welcome now I go light-handed and this is not dry not at all but as I work light-handed Oh Deb, welcome from New Zealand. So welcome. I believe it's early in the morning. Yes, this is Fina Barrett's paper. I can add a link in the description later on. I will do that. 
or if uh, somebody else Anna or somebody want to give a link link to the rice paper it's okay otherwise I can do it later on and look we have like a thin coat now it's time for something else S like that I also want to have like a little bit texture here to not show the edges here so there are like texture pastes and this is um, burnt sienna and it comes in a, like a rusty kit and there are also like rust color and it doesn't matter what color you use there are like different uh, pastes and this is to give to not show the edges where I have the rice paper to make, make it more discreet so I'm tapping on the color like very sloppy not perfect at all and then like that you see not perfect not at all and I believe I want to mix them both it's too reddish for me so I'm adding yes I'm mixing two colors of this rusty paste and that's only for the edges like here to make like not show where the edges of the paper goes uh, I want to keep it almost like this I haven't decided decide really yet how I will do with the surface here in the middle we'll see how it goes you never know when you're creating where it's taking you and I think that's so so fun you never know what you're feeling or when you're looking on the project during the process where it will take you that's yes just the fun part with this and now because I have the metallic paint in the bottom it's like resisting and yeah that's what I want like a make like a shimmer and uh, we leave it for that one I will almost leave that like that also making little bit like shadow here no perfection at all like that and with if I have been creating I have been drying this but I will leave it I think that's make like a beautiful shading already okay I think that's great thank you Angie thank you I will take a sip of coffee quickly here okay now I want to create here on the edges and I will do it more brown I have been in the conflict if I will use the okra it's more yellowish but I was deciding that I will uh, do the burnt sienna yes it's gorgeous vintage liquid fluid color uh, color and I must say it's my absolutely favorite color ever oh my god it's absolutely fantastic this liquid acrylic paint burnt sienna oh and Jeska, you are from polish from uk okay and i put it like a drop and now i will dab it not too much but i will dab like here on the edges like that and spraying water and it the gold making like a resist yes we love burnt sienna 
and more on the edges. So it's making, and you see how quickly it makes this effect and the white showing a bit. And you can do it more or less how much you want to go. Oh, look at it already. Yeah, burnt sienna. How could we live without that color? I don't know. So I'm doing that. Yes, my favorite paint. And I'm painting, dabbing, and I will have, yes, the burnt sienna is really gorgeous and perfect if you like these vintage projects. So it's totally amazing. And you see how it makes the gold still pop? Because I want it to feel like golden on the edges, on the roses. So I'm doing this and working really, and it's so easy. Everybody can do this, even if you are a beginner. Look. Perfect. I'm loving it. Goldish and with the brown inside. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. And now I'm also, you can do like more heavy. You see it's more dark here. And that's what you decide. Thank you, Anna, to checking out the molds. The molds are really great. And uh, no Christmas project, winter project, because hmm, why not do this all season project? And you can use like any molds you like. That's okay. This is not really completely dry, but you see, I haven't used a heat gun anytime this time because you can do like pretty lot works before you use it ah what do you think it's starting to look like vintage don't you think so i'm loving it and so easy really really great so i'm Try to work this out, really going on, and we have like a little bit of the texture. And if you want to have more texture, it's so easy to add. Well, if you have some of the texture paste or something you like. But I have really like a fine texture. And now I'm also, I will go around this. We see if it's dry, I'll start to get dry. Yeah, I you think it's vintage. Thank you, Gina. I love vintage. And it's cool. I have like an old kitchen table. So I think it would be great with some lights so you can add like some candle lights. On the kitchen table, I think that's. And look, the gold shining through. That's great. So we do that here in the middle quickly so you can get like uh, how I'm thinking. And it's a little bit reddish in the middle. We can change that also here. I'm taking a little bit more of the burnt sienna here in the edges and it's a lot of water still here so i don't need to add more water to have them that flow so i'm tapping i'm going on quickly and i'm using a small brush because i want to come like in the gaps that's the idea and when I will spray water, it will go more to the gaps and let the gold popping out. So there are so many ways to like create vintage. 
and you find out what kind of way you like to do. They are not really, really complete dry because I was thinking that perhaps we don't use the heat gun today. It makes some awful noise. Okay, look, it start to go together. Yes. It start to go together to make my plate here look go together. Yes, mm -mm -mm. I'm loving it. So it will be great. And now I'm adding like here, a little bit here and there, a little bit of the burnt sienna. And we leave that for drying. I think that's how I want it. So we keep it like clear in the middle. I think that's or I will add later more. Yeah, we love vintage. So I add like a little bit more water to make it flow. And it, now my paper is really wet. So we must need be careful here I almost destroy it but I can add like paste there later on but now I want to be sure that we have the burnt sienna in all the gaps yes I'm happy with that one and uh, I touch it and see where I can start to paint like one more layer to even add it more vintage. We can see about where I have let my paint go here. Look, I have the impasto paint. It's a very thick paint. And now it will be like scary for some of the people, but I need to do it more dark. And I will add leave a little bit more here. And a very thick color. Hello Patricia, nice to see you. And I want to be sure it's dry. So if you have earphones, I'm so sorry because I will heat it a little bit. So I can paint here. So people perhaps who have earphones, perhaps here it start to be very noisy. So take care. So I was avoiding to use the heat gun, but I need to heat it a little bit because I will put on the border the next layer. So we have like two layers left. Yes. Like that. And I believe I will keep the middle like this. I'm really happy with it. I'm thinking when it's dry, when it's everything is dry, perhaps I will add like clear crackle on the top to make it more easy to wipe it off if something in here because now it's, it's like that. But I think I will do that like a clear crackle to make it more vintage, but also to make it more so you can wipe it off if something like that. Okay, now we have like, and now I have the brown impasto paint. And this can be so scary for some people. And I'm adding some water because the color is really, really thick. Yes, so something here I will do. And I believe I will do like a clear crackle or soft gloss yellow or something to like seal it. But not right now. It must, must be completely dry. And I want to have like baby wipe. Where are my baby wipes? Here. So now I have impasto paint and uh, baby wipe and now I will go like this, tapping on, and then I will wipe off. Yes, perfect. And that is to make 
and if you're happy with the first step leave it like that it's totally okay but I wanted to make it more brownish and yes that was a lot what I was looking for but some people can make it perhaps that you feel it's so so scary look but quickly you're tapping it off and mm -mm -mm, they're loving it it's really vintage and if it like that and if you have like you feel that you have too much brown in some part take a smaller brush and pull it off you see how you can do you can pull it off but I think that makes a big difference yes we need impasto also it's so great so I go on and don't leave it for too long because you need to pull it off while it's wet so it you can pull it off but that's make a just amazing effect and you see no perfection is needed no perfection at all and the gold is popping out that's amazing I'm loving it now you need to add more water and you don't need so much paint because I'm adding it water and that is to not make it too heavy because the impesto is very thick color so pulling it off be careful you need to have like really dry molds otherwise it will show the white so be careful but I think this is great yes so what do you think guys all right vintage enough I believe it start to get vintage here yes it's great technique to add paint and pull it off it's so easy but can be scary it can be a little bit scary to add like a really dark color and wipe it off and not to keep it too long but it looks very vintage so amazing yes look so quickly mm, I'm loving it already and you can go like on the edges I'm looking if I have like some white spots because on the edges it can be more dark like that and now here also I not, don't know if it's really dry I will add also here a little bit thank you and yes guys thank you so much thank you for your gorgeous hearts thank you it's I get really appreciate your comments oh I start to get dark here but no problem the roses doesn't show so well but no I'm not worried yet on the edges and like here it's something the paper was not dry I will add like a little bit more brown paint whoops we don't see it anymore so you can if you have like papers not perfect like that I will adding the brown here I have some leftovers so tapping in on okay it's really dark here the roses I take my I need to take a clean baby wipe you can also have like paper towel try you need to try out what uh, works for you and uh, if you're using paper clay or molds it can be also like a different do like a test before you do it you can do like a small tag or something do a test always because some paper clays if you use they don't like too much water so always I said do a test 
and try out. And if you have like a different paper combination, instead of the gold here, I could add like silver if I wanted. So try out. Okay. Now we will dry it a little bit. But I think it looks really vintage. But I think it's very light here in the middle. So I'm doing like carefully. Let's see. Yes, we need to add like carefully darken it up a little bit. A lot of water. I was thinking to have it like, but I see I need to make it. Yeah, dried out baby white works also. Everyone, and it also this uh, what brand of baby wipes you use. Everybody have like different show uh, shoes choice. So you use what works for you. So sorry for my bad English, but I'm from Sweden, and English is not my language from the beginning. So hope you excuse me for my pronunciation. My words, how I spell some words or how I say some words. Hope I'm getting excuse for that. And hope you understand what I mean. Ask me if you if you don't do. Okay, I think that's great. What do you think? Sometimes you need things to dry up in the daylight and see in the daylight how things are looking. But thank you, Gina. Okay. We heat it a little bit and then uh, we will add some wax on the top. So I will not do the uh, clear crackle on the top right now because it really need to be dry here otherwise I'm afraid the tissue paper will be destroyed so we keep it like that but we'll add some waxes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Vasilis. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. And I have some wax here, but it's time to get really nice, I believe. But, like I said, perhaps it need to be in the daylight, and this I want to be, it will be very dry before I I will add something yeah you can do this with the mirror background of course and now I will add some waxes I will take the age brush today I believe I have some here and I have white gold perhaps we will see vintage gold also a favorite but today I believe I will have the edge brass and I will have my fingers and I start here. No, it's not completely dry. Oh, thank you, Christine. So you see what I'm doing. I'm using my hand. It's perfect not there to recommend. But now I will add and you must see what's happened here. Oh, I need to hold up where I'm adding the wax I believe but I'm adding that on the pattern on the edges and now it's magic yes now it looks like magic I love this yes look how it looks the brown and in the in the inside the gaps of the flowers yes Perfect. And you can use silver or if you like any other color. I was thinking, yes, this packing is perfect. So you only have so much of your, these tubes are perfect. I like them. So easy. You pull out so much that you like. 
and this will be great yes that was my idea to make it like warm colors that's true Basilis I was thinking perhaps to add a little bit tealish we will see or if I will keep that have like this and also in the inside I go over so much or little that I like but r right now I make the edges popping they really pop out now like that so that's a really nice effect yes I'm happy I'm really happy we do carefully on the flowers in the middle and I believe we need a little bit of contrast here I need something 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 so I have this uh, set of blue color yeah so what's teal little bit teal only a little bit and this is very tealish but it's like uh, also with some texture inside we will only have a little bit in in the gaps and now it's I have a little bit difficult because this is not dry but I want to add like a little bit little bit here to make this pop to make the pattern show a little bit and I also use the baby wipe again to pull it off like that so yes we need a teal a little bit and I wipe it off or I even take like a brush because I only want it to be like a little bit like that so I have only a shade of the teal yes that's what we was needed sometimes you don't know but look that was exactly what I wanted on this yes you see it comes in the background thank you for the sweet comments thank you so much so I'm doing a little bit like that and taking the dry brush and pulling oh pop, pop, pop. it's not dry not dry and then to make it goes I will add not so many places but on some places also the teal you see I'm going very so we need it only on some places like that okay and I have the dry brush and pull it off the excess quickly like that I don't want it to dry it too much but only like a hint of the blue on some places okay and yes I think that's made it I think that's made it and also I can made it in some of these edges and then I have the dry brush because I wanted to have only like the hint yes that's made the big difference only on some places and you can go over as much or little that you like so be careful take step by step and you can start with only a little bit of the paint like that and I'm uh, feeling almost ready I only need to go over with the wax where I have add the the teal color the paste that comes from the patina set so I go over so on the top we have the wax 
so very easy and you noticed that it was a really quick project also yeah we're loving it i love these kind of projects so fun yes yeah liliana you can watch it re-watch it my vintage plate and now on the composition here and that's make better for the roses and i also if you may think it's too goldy but i'm really happy with it but if you want to make a little bit more contrast i'll see if i can reach oops Sansa. i see if i can reach i really want to have like a little bit silver on some places not all over if i can find it some silver and i find one wax in this and it's brushed iron i will not have it all over my project i'm a little bit careful i only want it to have on some roses on the top little bit silver and that is only to make it and i feel it's not completely but only a little bit a very thin layer yes of the silver go around so it make like one more way to death and here i have the brushed iron really 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 not too much because i still want to keep my plate goldish that's the purpose i want to keep like the gold golden color so like that oops 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 like that carefully carefully because it's not really dry but I think I'm happy. What do you think, guys? I think I'm really happy. It need to be dry. And I will show you when everything da, 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 when everything is uh, dry. Really dry because it needs to dry because it's very wet a lot of water have been on my plate i will add like a layer of the texture paste clear crackle on the top because it will seal the surface and then i can wipe it off so i will add and if you need to make like two layers you do it so i will put like that but i will do that tomorrow and i will take good pictures photos of you to you tomorrow and uh, leave it here for uh, here and perhaps you can see how I will add my uh, candle lights or something like that so what do you think I can show you some close-up I think that's great and the composition and the paper is gorgeous on the background I'm loving it so clear crackle on the top to seal it yes Vasilis a really easy project yeah I will take good pictures tomorrow so take care and uh, if you have any questions leave them uh, here and I try to answer them so thank you a lot I love my plate and I will leave that for drying. It's still very wet in the edges here. So I say thank you so much for joining. And uh, see you soon again. Yes. Bye bye. Take care. Yes. Take care everybody. Thank you so much for joining. So much thank you so i will close this we we see how we do that so now you should take your old plates and paint them and make them vintage thank you bye bye